Well, MR Facts of Mars and the left is taking aim at your uh, Christmas tree if you use a live one. Uh, Christmas tree syndrome. There's no such thing. I remember growing up in the 60s and 70s and nobody ever complained about a Christmas tree. Unbelievable. Doctors issue health warnings for real tree owners. A warning this holiday season about something that's called Christmas tree syndrome where people get sick from being around the tree. Absurd. A, Chris, a centerpiece of the season, the Christmas tree, and the real ones are a beautiful tradition from nature. Except that you atheists don't view it as a beautiful tradition, you view it as one that you'd like to snuff out. But real trees can trigger an allergic reaction with symptoms that include wheezing, coughs, congestion, sore eyes, and potentially life-threatening asthma attacks. So now if you bring a real Christmas tree into your house, you're gonna die. They're crazy. Uh, I do remind you, however, that you gotta watch out for fires around those. You don't want a lot of get dry. That one's for real. Way to reduce the risk. A good shake to get rid of some dust and pollen. What dust? These things are growing outside and they get rained on all the time. But the branches and trunk can often hold another microscopic problem. They're allergic to is mold that settles on the tree during its growing time, and arguably sometimes when it's waiting to be sold here on the lot, said Jimmy Cohn, who's a Christmas tree farmer. One study found the mold count from live Christmas tree rose to five times normal level two weeks after the tree was brought indoors. Well, uh, I don't have much mold on things to start with. Another way to get the tree, make the tree less likely to trigger an allergic reaction is to give it a fan. Get your tree in the backyard and hose it down, then put it in the house. You're good to go. You idiot! It's winter time! How are you gonna hose it down? Most of us are cold! Idiot! I would just remind, recommend a thorough spraying of the branches and trunk and letting it dry outside for a day. You idiots! It's cold! It's winter time! It's not gonna dry! All that water's gonna freeze on it! Are you stupid or what? In most places it will not out of place. That's just saying another possible lay allergy issue is the water in the tree stands can grow mold. This is utterly ridiculous, you know. What they say and do is take something like uh, Coke or something like that, Coca-Cola, not the other type, and pour it in there to basically sugar water. Is all that is, and a little flavoring and helps uh, keep the tree fresher longer. You might be careful about getting someone else to add water out of the tree because that stirs up the mold that's in the reservoir, said allergy specialist Dr. Albert Gross. Oh, for crying out loud. Put the water in there once a day. Well, once a week probably, not once a day. Doctors say people with these allergies should probably only keep a live tree in the house for only four to seven days. The people who are highly allergic, doctors say it's probably best to avoid live Christmas trees all together. So there they are attacking the Christmas tree industry. Right there in black and white. Of course they don't say we want to eliminate the Christmas tree industry. Of course they're not going to say it that way. But that's what they mean. Unbelievable.
Stephanie Stahl is the writer of this. Yep. And check up there and make sure. Stephanie Stahl, CBS 3 and the CW Philly 57th Emmy Award winning health reporter. Where'd you win your award? In a... From a... Cracker Jack box? It's featured on Eyewitness News as one on television. Unbelievable. So they're taking aim at your uh, Christmas trees now. Wake up, people. These are communists. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. How they got this uh, tree farm owner to talk like this, I'll never know. What they banned. I'm artifacts of Mars. Discuss 